We have a circle in a rectangle and we're told the area inside the circle, that's the darker shaded area, is equal to the area inside the rectangle but outside the circle. That's going to be the lighter shaded area. And we're asked for the ratio of the length of the rectangle to its width. Now, I find these words a little bit um, confusing, but I'm going to say that this is the length and this is the width. Actually, the question intends that. But if you did it the other way around, I, you know, I'd hope it would be accepted because width and length, like length is, can be anything, could be height or depth. Width normally refers actually, I would say, to this one here. But in this case, we're going to call that one the width. All right, now that I've cleared that up. Um, so the circle will have a constant radius. I'm going to call that R. Naturally, that means that this is going to be 2R. That's the diameter of the circle. So we've already got that the width is 2R. All right, so I just want to work out the length in terms of R. Um, now I'm going to call the length X. Okay, here goes. So we've got the area of the circle, which is going to be pi R squared. And that is going to equal the area of the rectangle, which is going to be x times 2r, or 2xr, minus actually the area of the circle itself, so pi r squared. So I've just created an equation. Area of the circle is equal to this uh, shaded, lighter shaded gray area, which is the rectangle minus the circle. Okay, this is brilliant because now I can I can just rearrange it. So it's going to be 2 pi r squared is equal to 2 x r. And I can divide through by 2 and I can also divide through by r. So that means x is equal to pi r. And therefore, the ratio of the length of the rectangle to its width is going to be pi r to 2r, because I've just taken the length here and I had the width from before. Um, now r is not zero or anything, you know, I cancelled it out before, I can do the same again. So the answer is going to be that it's pi to 2. Nice.